Hey, how's it going everybody? Burp right here and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at a hot sauce from the Caped Crusader, Captain Caliente. So, let's start the show. Before I show you the sauce that I'm going to be reviewing today, I wanted to talk a little bit about the man behind the sauce, Captain Caliente himself. You see, Captain Caliente has an alter ego he goes by during the day, so no one will know who he is. This other personality goes by Mr. PC, and Mr. PC was a radio commentator for many, many years. That's how I first learned about him. He was uh, one of the commentators on one of my absolute favorite shows. Used to listen to it every day on my way home from work. And I'm talking about the drive time, happy hour. It was played constantly here every day, every afternoon on my local radio station, 97.3 The Sky. At one time, the Drive Time Happy Hour was the number one show in North Central Florida, and while the radio show has been canceled for several years, Mr. PC has resurrected it via a podcast, which does still occasionally air from time to time. But that's all I'm allowed to tell you about Captain Caliente's alter ego. You don't want to face that man's wrath. So the sauce we're going to be taking a look at today is the original hot sauce. This is the starter, the one that brought Captain Caliente into the world. And I gotta say, I really do like the ingredient list on here. Take a look at the awesome labeling that he has here. Nice, simple design. We're gonna read this story here in just a second. This sauce, all of these sauces are created in uh, Citra, Florida, distributed by Easy Ponics LLC. If you don't know, all of these peppers are grown in hydroponic gardens, which is really awesome. Uh, but the ingredients we have are apple cider vinegar, jalapeno peppers, scorpion peppers, seven pot peppers, ghost peppers, cayenne peppers, pure honey, onion, garlic, and kosher salt. On the side here it says, the flavor behind the heat. The captain has hand selected each pepper for this unique blend. He will only use fresh peppers and natural ingredients. All of the gourmet super hots are grown in a fungicide and pesticide free aquaponics garden. One drop will be enough to bring all of your taste buds to life. It will cause your heart and mind to meld together with only a single thought left in your soul. More. As you enjoy every driblet of natural taste, the captain smiles upon your pleasures. And I'll definitely put a link down in the description where you can go pick up some of the sauce if you're interested in trying it out for yourself. And uh, I do have my fancy little uh, knife here, but I've noticed that uh, he has actually been smart enough to put the little pull tab right here. So all you got to do is, man, and this is actually one of the, the best working pull tabs I've seen in a while on one of these bottles. So perfect, easy. Don't even need a knife to cut the thing open. Like always, you want to make sure you give that bottle a really, really good shake. Mix up all of those natural, delicious ingredients that are inside of there. Oh boy, and I am really, my mouth is starting to salivate just thinking about this. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got on the aroma here. Oh man, that smells like a burner. I knew it would when you see all of those ingredients listed there. I was like, oh yeah, this one's probably going to be a pretty damn spicy uh, sauce, and then I guess the skull on the crossbones on the front should be a pretty good indicator as well. You're definitely really picking up that nice, strong pepper aroma, but I am also getting that little bit of a apple cider vinegar kind of coming through. I gotta say, I'm a huge fan of apple cider or any other type of vinegar, really over white distilled vinegar, um, and I'm definitely getting some sweetness coming through there, probably from the honey that's in there, perhaps a, a little touch of garlic. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of this stuff because Again, the whole point of doing a review is to taste the sauce. You don't need to show how brave you are by dry, trying huge, huge amounts of this stuff. And I got to admit, my tolerance is pretty low. I haven't done a hot sauce, and I mean, you can look at my channel. It's been, it's been a long time. But without any further ado, I got my old favorite trusty spoon here. We're gonna go ahead and pour out. Oh yeah, it's got a a nice consistency to it. That's just got a, a smooth texture to it, kind of like a creaminess, and you do see some good chunks of pepper in there. It looks like big chunks of garlic as well. It's got a nice pureed consistency to it. I'm assuming that there are seeds. It kind of looks like they probably are. That's one thing that I'm not a huge fan of, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and give this thing a, a, a taste here. Oh yeah, that's hot. <clears throat> and it has definitely been a while. I am, uh, I can definitely tell that my tolerance has gone way down, but 
at the same time, this isn't all that bad. Like, it's, it's not as incredibly painful as I thought it would be. But you were getting that burn right away, tingling on the tongue there, just a little bit of a, a prickly feeling from that great combination of peppers that's in there. And again, I just really love the flavor of, of, of uh, apple cider vinegar opposed to that white distilled. It just has such a nice flavor to it. I'm starting to feel it hit the back of the throat a little bit. Wow, very, very tasty sauce. And again, it's just simple ingredients. It's, it's common sense stuff. You don't need a whole lot of crazy ingredients to make really tasty sauces. And again, that comes through in this one. It is a very basic sauce. And you know, the other thing that I love about trying hot sauces like this from smaller creators is you end up getting so much better of a flavor and you don't have this chemistry list of crazy ingredients like food colorings and all the different preservatives and whatnot that they put in there. Woo! -hoo. I tell you, when I first took that bite, felt like, you know, my back started uh, tingling and I felt my forehead starting to feel that sweat coming on. So it definitely has a really solid burn to this one. And I'm glad that I took it easy and only did a little bit to start because, again, I am starting to feel the sweat on my forehead. Again, simplicity to me is, is always best. As someone who's cooked professionally 13 years out of my life, 14 years, I've always found that the simplest things, the best ingredients... You know, keep it simple, stupid. Like, don't go crazy and try to overthink things. Just go with the basics, and that's what you get here is a great-tasting sauce. I would dare say this is a lot better than most of what you would get on the shelf uh, in a lot of big mass chain stores. And um, I'd highly recommend you give this one a try if you're a fan of those all-natural flavors, of especially the peppers. This has so many great-tasting peppers. And again, the aquaponics, uh, aquaponics, however you want to say it, it's really nice. I mean, just a wonderful, wonderful tasting sauce. Wow. Whew. I think I, I'm going to need a beer after this. <laughs> so I think I'll do a beer review uh, next. So as far as ratings go, I think I want to give this one on flavor. I'm going to give it a solid 7 out of 10. And that's just because it's got a, a really nice flavor to it. It's very simple ingredients. So it's nothing incredibly unique as far as flavor-wise of what I've had. Um, but it is a very tasty sauce and it's something that could become a staple that you could keep on your table and use for just about anything like a lot of really specialty sauces kind of have a niche you know you have to use it for certain things well a sauce like this is universal it can go with just about any type of food really good it's not overly salty at all it's just a, a wonderful tasting solid pepper flavor I am loving that as far as the heat goes on this sucker uh, it didn't completely destroy me, but it definitely has a nice heat to it. I'm going to give this one probably a solid 5 on my scale because to me 5 is kind of right in the middle of the road. It's not an incredibly overbearing heat, um, and at the same time, it's not at all a weakling. It's got a good, solid burn. It is a, a medium heat, something that I could enjoy on a, on a regular basis, I think, on a wide variety of things, especially once I start getting my tolerance back a little bit more. Um, so yeah, it's definitely one that I would recommend you guys give a try if you are a fan of all natural sauces. Plus, the marketing behind this is really, really good. You should check out the website. Uh, go and be sure and look at, um, well, I've got it right here. It is CaptainCaliente.com. It's real simple. Go and check that out. Again, link will be down in the description. Uh, look and see, man. They've got awesome videos about the origins of, of uh, Captain Caliente as well as a good history, a little bit deeper into the Drive Time Happy Hour, the history of Mr. PC, Captain Caliente's alter ego. And uh, it's just a really fun site. So definitely be sure and go and check that out. If you enjoyed this video, be sure and give it a big thumbs up. It's been a while since I did a hot sauce review. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, definitely let me know what you think down below in the comments. What's your favorite um, your favorite hot sauce that uses all natural ingredients that doesn't have a whole bunch of fillers and chemicals and things like that in it. Let me know down below in the comments. I'd be interested to hear that. Also, if you're new here, be sure and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future video videos. Uh, I am going to be trying to put out a lot more uh, as I move forward. I've really been bad, and, and uh, a commenter yesterday pointed out that's you know I'm putting out like a video every month and a half, two months. Eh, it's not all that good. So if I want you to watch my videos, I've got to produce more of them. So uh, please stay tuned. I'm going to try to put out some more videos. Obviously, I've got a great beer that I've been wanting to review. I've had put away for a little while. So I'm going to do a review of that here soon. Anyway, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always...
Stay toasty, my friends.